hoodie. It's a short sleeve blower and it is crocheted with a big hook. I just want to show it how, uh, how it looks uh, to a normal short woman like me. Uh, and it's uh, a size small. Uh, it is very uh, easily crocheted from bottom up. Uh, it has uh, a very, very uh, simple hood with a tassel. And um, I believe it's very, very practical to wear it. Uh, I, I feel very good in it when I'm at home and I'm a little bit uh, cold uh, and it leaves me uh, uh, with hands free to do many many things uh, and it uh, warms, warms me here at the chest which uh, it is something that I want not every time of, uh, um, of the hour because um, I'm 55 and there are times that I'm getting hot uh, or I'm getting cold. Anyway, I hope you like it. Uh, I have it on my Etsy shop um, in many sizes. I have it in adult sizes and in children's sizes. And uh, I, I hope you like it. Hi, how are you? I hope everyone is fine. Today I'm going to show you a baby cardigan. Uh, it is crocheted with a big hook. Uh, I have a 9mm crochet hook and a simple worsted yarn and um, it's a, a short uh, sleeve pullover uh, which is a, a very simple pattern it is uh, a rectangle uh, I will, I'm going to give you the measurements and um, to crochet this you begin crocheting uh, the ribbing this way uh, we crochet uh, we chain f uh, seven and then we half double crochet in uh, every stitch so we create uh, a ribbing and then uh, we uh, are going to crochet um, down the side of our work and begin our main pattern which is a very simple pattern. Uh, it's single crochet in one stitch, double crochet in the right next stitch. A single crochet and double crochet uh, all along uh, our row. Uh, and uh, we repeat the same pattern uh, in every row. Uh, to make this um, look better, I created a sort of edging here. So when I crocheted all the item till here, which is a straight line, I turned, I joined yarn here and I made uh, all the way all um, to, uh, uh, down the side of uh, our pullover. Uh, I made a half double crochet row. Uh, I began, sorry, I joined yarn up. I um, crocheted till the end and back again. So here I have two rows of half double crochet. Then I um, continued uh, working for the sleeves. So I uh, crocheted about 14 uh, stitches till here and then back again and back again. Uh, and I stopped after six rows and I have a big uh, cozy short sleeve. This is uh, for about five or six years old or maybe it's from four years till six years old uh, and um, this way I uh, made the sleeves and then um, I crocheted a rectangle um, the hood which I uh, I'm going to sew all over the neckline and uh, we have a little uh, a, a sewing from here to the end of the sleeve and we uh, sew from here till here and this is all we do for our pullover 
let's get started to begin this size uh, we begin from the ribbing so take your hook and chain seven we make this way our first loop turn and put this loop there and grab this yarn here is your first loop attach it to your hook and then we are ready this is a slip knot this is not um, a chain this is chain one two three four four five six seven then uh, we're going to insert our hook uh, in the second uh, chain from hook not the first one the first one is this where our loop on our hook goes out so yarn over and insert your hook there this is the second chain and this is our first half double crochet to half double crochet yarn over insert in the up uh, to the first loop of this chain every chain has three loops so choose the uh, upper stitch and insert your hook then we have three loops on hook yarn over and pull all three loops on hook just a moment to arrange my table this is our second half double crochet this is our third I'm sorry. This is our fourth half double crochet, fifth, and last one, sixth. You can always chain a little bit more and then you can untie the slip knot and oh I'm sorry it's a little bit tight my first chain so I have six half double crochet turn your work and then you can see the back of the half double crochet uh, and Put your hook there and turn so you can see this is the right um, point to insert your hook but to make the ribbing we want to insert our hook to this back loop or if you see it from here it's the up and uh, the bottom loop uh, so in front of us please count we have one two three four five and the last the sixth it's here watch out not to miss it we want to uh, make six half double crochet again and I'm sorry I go a little bit back uh, before uh, making a new row we have to chain one and keep the trace of the first half double crochet so you insert your hook there and you count again one two always in back loops three four I'm sorry four five and 
the last one six always count uh, your stitches because uh, it's a very simple pattern but you can always miss a stitch and then if uh, it's not the same number of stitches in every row uh, it won't be a, a very nice uh, piece this is the back of the half double crochet turn a little bit so you can see all the loop here and this is our first loop so chain one and then insert your hook in first loop watch out for the first loop and for the last loop this is the point where we can miss uh, a stitch and not having the same number of stitches I will see you after um, 26 rows of half double crochet uh, so I have crocheted some rows and I'm going to show you how you are going to count the rows uh, crocheting in back loops that creates a sort of ridge here so every uh, ridge uh, is here we have one row the second row have no, has no ridge and it is a little bit down this is number one row, number two, number three with a ridge, number four without a ridge. So when you count uh, the rows, you have to a little bit understand uh, how you are going to understand uh, after crocheting how many rows you did. Just count one, two, three, four down. Uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have 16 rows of half double crochet. You are going to crochet 26 rows for this uh, pullover for uh, about 4 to 6 or 7 years old. Now we are uh, going to crochet uh, down the side of our work so um, turn so that the side is facing up and we're going to chain one at the beginning and uh, single crochet uh, uh, in every row find a, a stitch where you can put a single crochet this is the first row and it's a foundation row of just single crochet this is number one single crochet and now we have the row with the ridge and there we're going to put another single crochet this is the second now this is the row without the ridge which stands a little bit down and this is in the middle I, ha I have to find a stitch and there I will put a single crochet my third one now I'm counting fourth single crochet here at the row with the reeds four it's not really clear where to put your uh, single crochet to put your crochet hook but I think you can find a place don't worry, it, it won't leave a hole. We want an even number of stitches for the pattern. So we're going to crochet in the ribbing the right number of rows. One. And there with the ridge, single crochet. And down to the row without the ridge a single crochet it's a little bit hard to make this first row but after this don't worry it's going to be easy we can put it here also to the big hole and then here 
to the ridge and then you can go right there where the loop is a little bit wide and then down and then we have the last row with the ridge make this last uh, stitch um, at the very edge point so it creates a better shaping there and this is our, our first foundation row of single crochet uh, this is a small symbol turn and now and in every row after this we're going to chain one single crochet at the first stitch which now it's a single crochet because our previous row it's a single crochet row but I'm going to make a third row so you understand what you should do well we have single crochet and right in the next stitch a double crochet in, in next stitch a single crochet and in next stitch a double crochet so we are crocheting this pair single crochet double crochet till the end I think it's a very nice and uh, easy pattern and it creates a, a kind of lacy uh, texture in your crochet garment it is it is a little bit romantic it is a little bit lacy and a double crochet and a single crochet uh, now at your first row please watch out because the uh, uh, single crochet uh, don't help us to understand what we should do now I am going to show you in the next row what to do single crochet and your last stitch should be a double crochet this is our last stitch it's a double crochet and then turn and what we see before us we will chain one in the beginning of every row and always our first stitch is going to be a double crochet uh, of the previous row I mean and then right next to it a single crochet we're going to crochet the opposite thing I mean after chaining one I will single crochet and double crochet so I make this uh, scalloped uh, thing and there at the triangle of the single crochet you can understand it's a single crochet because it creates a triangle there we will work a double crochet so if you are in the middle of the row and you are talking and you forgot uh, to count uh, and you are wondering what to do there, right in, in front of you, it's a double crochet of previous row. The stitch where you should insert your hook stands a little bit on the left of the post of the double crochet. Okay, this is the double crochet of previous row and this uh, hole there is the loop of the double crochet. It, it is standing a little bit left. So there we single crochet and right next if I pull a little I can see a triangle this is a single crochet there I will work a double crochet and that's all single crochet and double crochet we always begin with a single crochet and we always end and up our row with a double crochet this is our pattern let's go at the end of the row single crochet double crochet this is a double crochet and we single crochet there and this triangle is a single crochet and we work a double crochet and we should have two stitches left 
open a little bit to see this is a double crochet and this is the loop of the double crochet with single crochet there and the very last single crochet it's not really clear but if you turn a little bit you are going to see the loop and if you try to open you will understand there is a small triangle there at the very end we put there and work a double crochet the final stitch of every row then we turn and chain one and begin the same thing again in front of us there is a double crochet and this is its loop and right next to it the single crochet and this is its loop this is the pattern uh, you crochet this for um, how many rows about no, 29 rows uh, so uh, we can uh, reach at a height of uh, around just a moment I have it somewhere it's around 45 centimeters I think um, I'm going to check and tell you again keep crocheting till you reach at the um, at the very point you want and you can always adjust the height and if you want it longer you can do it and if you want it wider you can uh, make more rows at the ribbing uh, after this you can check uh, on your body or on child's body what it, how wide it should be and then add the number of rows that you want it's so simple see you in a moment I'm uh, near the end of this row and I just uh, single crochet in every double crochet of previous row and uh, double crochet in every single crochet and I end every row with uh, a double crochet. The last stitch is always a double crochet. I make a small sample so we understand what we'll do. Uh, in your real pullover you are going to make 20, for this size, for the first size which is for four to six years old uh, girls, you are going to make 26 rows and um, ribbing rows so you are going to have uh, 26 or 28 I think uh, 28 rows so 28 stitches going back and forth and you are going to uh, chain to crochet for about uh, just a moment I lost uh, I think it's about 30 30 rows so when you uh, have crocheted all you need for the right height which is from the neck till bottom that is that depends on how long you want uh, the pullover to be then we have to make edging to this side to the right, uh, left right side and to the right side uh, from for the left side uh, in the end of this final row we just turn our work and begin uh, half double crochet down the side of our work and to make the same thing from the other side you are going to join yarn here so you will turn it join uh, yarn here and you always will begin from the upside to go to the bottom because I need two rows in every side so from up we go we go down that's one row and then we go up that's the second row and we are finished with the side edging now we are on the left side let's chain one and since we know we have 30 rows here 
uh, this uh, sample has 10 rows uh, so I have to half double crochet 10 times till I reach here uh, where the ribbing begins in the ribbing I had 6 half double crochet so I'm going to make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 half double crochet so uh, in your real um, pullover you are going to half double crochet 30 times still here and 6 more, tw uh, 36 now I am going to find the first point because it's the sides of the rows it's not so clear where we insert our hook but we can find a place and then we can divide this uh, distance in two and find the middle and then we know that till middle we're going to make 15 half double crochet and another 15 here now I'm going to divide it in two so I make five here and five here it's the same thing but it's uh, a smaller distance to cover two three I don't go in this space, I go into the loop. It's a little bit hard, the first row, then I have one, two, three, four, five, and another five. Pull a little bit, six. Seven, eight, two more, nine, and my final ten. So I have ten half double crochet and then I will count back from here one two three four six so this is the point I will insert my hook into sixth to make the first I go reverse you know two three four and six half double crochet uh, as many as the ribbing stitches are we turn and then it's the easy part now we chain one and we make the same number of half double crochet don't count there is no need to count now you insert your hook in every stitch and you make half double crochet we go till up now to finish this row it, lo it looks very beautiful when it has an edging there uh, and when we are going to sew, the, to sew this uh, sides it's going to be nice uh, well I'm near the end we will create the sleeves now and we need uh, to do no decreases for this pattern not for sleeves not even for the collar and uh, believe me it looks very nice when you wear it you even can't imagine that something is missing well I have finished the row and then turn this is my side and I have finished I go 
go back uh, and then up again and now the only thing I will do is that I will um, go back again but not till the bottom I um, count in the real pullover you have to chain one and then half double crochet in next 14 half double crochets of previous row just this oh, sorry just made something wrong here chain one and half double crochet in first stitch and in second third uh, fourth fifth since we are making a small sample I'm going to stop here let's say it's a small let's make one more I just stop here let's say we made 14 then turn and so chain in one and beginning all over the same thing again half double crochet in every stitch we go back and forth and for as many rows as uh, long we want uh, our sleeve to be it's a very very simple thing to create the sleeve and you can do it uh, a long sleeve also you can go uh, further more than I made it again look it began to uh, form the shape of uh, a sleeve I will make one more you, you uh, crochet the same number of half double crochet in every row just this and uh, I uh, made it for about six or eight rows I don't really remember I will write it down in a while to the subtitles let's cut our yarn and what we did with this small sample that's our sleeve and uh, we do the same here I uh, will repeat that we will join yarn here but we have to turn in order to crochet down so we crochet till bottom up again and then in your third row you begin crocheting till the number of stitches I will give you only for sleeve and then go back and forth for the fewer stitches of sleeve and here it is our uh, front piece we make another one for the back piece and uh, in this size uh, four to six years old uh, then you uh, put front and back piece together and you sew, sew from bottom till the end of your sleeve okay this is the first part of sewing then as you have attached the front to the back you are going to uh, leave uh, here find the center put a marker at the center if you fold it in two it's very easy to find the center and uh, you have to me measure here this distance uh, it will be good to be about 18, uh, 18 centimeters so you know that put two markers here and having attached front and back you are going to sew uh, the shoulder seam till down the sleeve all this distance shoulder and sleeve together and once you have ended this part of sewing you have uh, just to make your hood and 
attach it uh, to the body. To make the hood you have to uh, half double crochet uh, to make a, an initial chain. I, I, I saw a very uh, nice way to make the, the slip knot. So you put this way the yarn and uh, fold it once. Then you take the this, sorry, let's make it again. Here I put it here. I take this over this, don't do anything else, and I take this over this again, and this is the loop ready to be attached to our hook. Uh, you can uh, make a foundation half double crochet row, uh, if you'd like me to show you. Uh, once again how you are going to make this for the hood or if you'd like to um, follow the very simple way of chaining make a foundation chain of 18 stitches I'm going to make a, found a foundation half double crochet row of 17 so I chain 2 I yarn over, insert my hook in first chain, yarn over and pull up a loop. Uh, till, till here I made nothing. I have to yarn over and pull through this first loop in order to create my chain one here. And now I have three loops on my hook. I will yarn over and pull all three loops I have made uh, a chain one and a half double crochet at the same time the same thing again I yarn over insert my hook in this second now uh, chain I have three loops uh, yarn over and pull through one loop this is my chain and now I will complete my half double crochet. Uh, put your hand in this base uh, loop and you will know that there you are going to insert, insert your hook twice. And now we have our third half double crochet. Now I have a yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I have my chain base and yarn over and I create this way one, two, three, four half double crochet. Yarn over again I put, insert my hook in the chain that I can see clearly at the bottom. There I pull up a loop but this is not my chain yet. I have to yarn over and pull up a loop again and this way I created my chain down there and having three loops on hook I yarn over and pull up through all loops. I just remember, remember to yarn over twice from this base loop and then it's easy. So I have an initial um, foundation chain and at the same time a half double crochet row and the important thing with this way is that it's a very uh, right uh, piece as a dimension. It does not, uh, you don't have this problem with the initial chain that uh, when it is tight and it, uh, it's not a good shape for our uh, crochet piece. Then we turn our work in front of us we have the loops the whole loop of the half double crochet you chain one at the beginning of the row that does not count uh, as a half double crochet and then one, two, three, four, five, six I have made six half double crochet I keep on 
making half double crochet in every stitch and uh, this is also a small symbol you have to chain 17 uh, half double crochet and watch out for the last one and please count your stitches so you won't miss one and your edges are going to be uh, very nice again chain one and we insert our hook in normal loops and chain one two three four five and six and uh, this way we create a rectangle and we uh, need 17 uh, half double crochet and we do crochet for um, how many for 33 rows it's easy to count the rows on uh, in half double crochet but if you're not from familiar with counting you can always have a piece of paper and write down I, I used to do this because sometimes they talk to me and I cannot find where I am I write all numbers from 1 to, to 30 and every time I end up a row I just uh, erase it I put a, an X on the number and I know I have finished with this row uh, all these uh, 33 rows Give, give us this uh, length which is what we need from our neck to the top of our head and back again and from for here for this hood I uh, chose it to be 50 centimeter long 25 till here and then 25 till here if you if you measure all the rectangle that you crochet it has to be around 50, uh, 50 centimeters long and our width here it's about 22 centimeters 22 centimeters here and 22 there it's about 45 centimeters and this is the perimeter of our neck so to attach the hood on the body you have to find the back uh, neck center uh, there when we fold our rectangle in two this is uh, the way we uh, crochet the hook this is the row with 17 half double crochet and we go back and forth we fold it in two and we sew this back seam and we put a tassel there so the center of our sewing will match the center of our back neckline and hold all your piece like this hold your pullover uh, this way folded uh, not in normal way uh, folding it and having the back center neck and the front center neck uh, so in, in front we are going to leave the open space of the hood and at the back we are going to uh, sew the, the sewn piece so we begin till here we uh, measure a little bit if it's ok here and there and we can uh, start from here and sew till front and then from back again and sew till the other front it's really easy to sew the hood on the body and that's it here is the center of the front and we just uh, make a very simple uh, a very very simple chain, foundation chain to have it as the drawing, drawstring of the hood and we put it inside outside inside outside leaving a space of 
three or four uh, centimeters here uh, and it really it's a, an easy way if you want to uh, draw the strings and attach it to the face in order to be uh, warm and cozy. This is uh, the pullover. It's just a rectangle. I believe it's easy and uh, I will be very glad if you do it. So the sun has come and uh, tell me all about it in your comments. Uh, I have already uh, on my Etsy shop the two patterns, one for small girls and one for adults because I just imagine it uh, for a pair of women and um, I will be very glad uh, if you tell me all about it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as I am a new in uh, the English in English uh, videos on YouTube and uh, I really really love uh, reading all you write uh, about my patterns uh, I, I'd like to know if something is not good even this uh, I don't always rem um, wait for, for good words although I love them uh, but I'm very ready to 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 be better and um, make better things if something is not uh, well explained. Thank you very much. Have a nice time from Greece, which is sunny at this moment. Uh, I am Mary and uh, I will see you at next project. Bye.